Welcome Aquarius. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with using the Avalon Magic Cards, the Wild Child Oracle, and these cards that I do not know the name of. Um, but yes, I was given them a number of years ago now with a, a book um, about tarot and I don't have the book and I don't remember the name of the deck, so these cards is what we will call them. Okay, Aquarius, let's get stuck into it using the Avalon Magic Cards. Three cards for Aquarius, please. Aquarius, if you don't um, find that you don't resonate with this reading, check out your um, birth chart placements and have a look at those um, zodiac signs. You might get something there. Excellent. Here we go. We've got your three cards already. Now, let's have a look. See, there is writing on the back here, but I like to see what I get from the picture first, which doesn't always correspond with what is on the back, which is fantastic because it means you get more messages. Okay, so Aquarius, there's this This, his hair is blowing in the wind here. And yeah, the wind clears the air, right? So I wonder if you, there's a need to have some sort of cleansing um, in your life or health-wise even. Let's have a look at what it says. You are in alignment with your soul's longings. Make a move now. Interesting. Oh, what's going on, Aquarius? Okay, so let's have a look into this card. And we'll have a look at the other two cards once we're done with this one. Okay, two cards for Aquarius for this card, please. You are in alignment with your soul's longings. Longings. Interesting. Not longing, but longings. Make a a move now that has fallen on the ground way over there I'll pick it up in a tick well we just want one card one more card for this card for Aquarius please one more card there it is okay let me pick this card up I don't know what the second card is yet so it's landed upside down so yeah oh I love this yes yeah, that's interesting though, because I got this thing about the wind blowing his hair, right? It seemed to jump out at me. Breathing fresh air into your lungs. There's also all these butterflies here, which tells me something that, that about it being the, about um, a transformation happening for you. So maybe this is about you, um, for some of you, taking care of your health, right? Um, maybe that's part and parcel of you getting into alignment with your soul's longings. The other thing I want to say this about this is breath work may be very helpful for you. You could look that up on YouTube um, because it looks as though the person's entire torso is filled with air and so this breathing is very important right now. And um, yeah, it's just interesting that that would lead to a transformation. But hey, it kind of makes sense because that real focus on that breath work is, I guess that could be transforming, right? So let's have a look into this. Two cards for ear, please, for Aquarius. And you being an ear sign as well, that's not surprising. It's kind of like taking a moment to take a breath, I guess, Aquarius. Especially from your thoughts. I feel like some of you lead such busy lives that there's this need to... Make sure you're actually breathing consciously. Hmm. Two cards for air for Aquarius, please. One. The 
it when nope we've got the prince of swords here and i want to say here aquarius to make sure that you whatever it is that you um do do with it for example if you do breath work okay um just ensure that you're not just doing it for you know once or um that you're actually adopting it into your daily life okay because i think it's important to keep up the self-care routine for yourself now the other thing is that with the prince of swords as well and make a move now I feel like it's reiterating that uh, sentence. Another card for air, and it's sort of like take a breath and then move forward in a sense, right? One more card for air for Aquarius, please. Okay, and we have the Prince of Pentacles here. Interesting. Um, for some of you, this could be to do with children in your life or younger ones in your life. Um, mm, that maybe you need to be focusing on or taking care of or, or sort of paying more attention to um some of you may actually work with teenagers teachers some of you may be teachers um but with the prince of pentacles here oh sorry this is the princess of pentacles <laughs> okay so this is you Okay, this makes more sense then. That's why I was getting nothing. <laughs> um, I do want to say that, um, how do I put this? So with this moving forward, right, um, it, it's sort of like moving forward consciously in the sense of um, attending to the important things in your life that are going to help you sustain your kingdom, so to speak, okay? Um, and I feel like it's interesting because I feel as though, like I'm seeing the feminine and, and the masculine side of these cards here. So I just wonder if there's someone in your life who is either a earth sign or a um an ear sign right but i wonder if the ear sign is representing yourself which i feel like it actually is okay and this could be about you approaching an earth sign but please if, if that's not the case please don't take that as gospel okay just something that i'm getting through which i don't often get through so i have to mention it anyway <clears throat> Um, we've got the cosmic child here. Yeah. Um, I feel like with this alignment of your soul's longings, this is where it comes from, right? It's it's kind of that thing, you, you know, you hear people say it's written in the stars. And I actually feel like this is the case here. Whatever this is that you are building or that you are working towards, you are moving towards, I feel like this is something that is, it's kind of like you, I mean, I want to say you don't have to try to make it happen because it will anyway. Um, but that doesn't mean to say to not put the effort into caring for yourself and getting yourself into alignment, right? Um, yeah, and allowing those stars to align in a sense. Okay, so two cards for Cosmic Child for Aquarius, please. Two cards for Cosmic Child for Aquarius. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Okay. We have the Prince of Hearts and the Prince of Pentacles here. Yeah, 
this is definitely, because now we have the Princess and the Prince of Pentacles, so this is definitely this masculine feminine energy. Um, there's something here. What is it? I want to get one more card because I feel like what's on the bottom here the king of swords tell me more about these two cards do you know what Aquarius I feel like there's something missing okay this is what I feel like I can't I, I kind of just yeah but I'm not sure what it is. And I just wonder if this is this feeling for you. That maybe there's something missing in your life, but you don't know what it is. Um, we've got the Nine of Pentacles here. So, yeah, see, this is this. Independence. Just wonder if some of you would like your independence, maybe, that's not it. What I do want to say here is that um, when you make your move now, please be um, conscious of what you're doing because the Prince energy um, will move and it's kind of like How, what's a good example here um it's kind of like a prince you know okay so the king say like if the king was to build a house yeah he would make sure he's got all the materials and everything that he needs he would um when he goes to climb up for example onto the roof he would make sure his harness is secure the prince just races up the ladder without double checking all the safety um mechanisms and and getting himself secured to whatever harnesses he needs to be secured to, to make sure he's safe. Okay, he rushes in really quickly. Um, and so I wonder for, for some of you, if this is a relationship that you would like to build, that you would like to um, get into, um, and maybe you're trying to figure out a way to build that, okay? Um, if it's not a relationship, then it's definitely to do with work um, or even your home life, right? There's still the sense of something missing. Is it the princess? Maybe. And when I say princess, that doesn't mean that this is only a male's only reading. Um, it's just the energy. Okay, so you could be a female watching this and like waiting for your prince type of thing, right? Um, so, yeah. Yeah, feels like there's something imbalanced though. Is that why this is saying you are in alignment with your soul's longings? Make a move now. Maybe you don't feel like it's time. But it's saying you're in alignment. I just wonder if for some of you, you feel like you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do everything else first. And um, and that may not be required. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at this. This I love this card. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. This is this wisdom, this innate wisdom. Um, and the other thing, Aquarius, with this card is that remember that it takes time for things to grow. The Nine of Pentacles here doesn't grow like you don't plant the seed and bam, you've got the tree, right? Um, producing the pentacles, it takes time. It takes time to be nurtured and, um, and cared for in order for this to grow. And this is what this is telling you. But I want to say that you have this knowing within you as to what is needed. Yeah, you know what is needed. So maybe there is still something that is needed 
to help nurture this relationship or this business or whatever it is. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Access your deep feminine intuition and allow new possibilities to flow. And again, this feminine intuition, you know, they talk about, for example, mother's intuition. I think, you know, that um, we all have that intuition. Yeah, just because it's talking about feminine intuition doesn't mean that it doesn't apply to you if you are a male. Anyway, let's go on with this. Oh, I've got the wrong deck here. Where's my other deck? Here it is. Yeah, allow new possibilities to flow. Oh, wow. That's quick. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so this desert here, look at this. This is a tree without any leaves, right? And see, this is what I'm talking about. This is what this thing is about, growing something. Yeah, you're trying to grow something. And so it's actually tapping into your intuition to see what it is it needs. Water, you know? nutrients, minerals, whatever it needs, yeah, um, and because I just wonder if this, it may be that you have a home, or it might feel quite empty, or that, <clears throat> yeah, there's, it's like, there is something missing, <laughs> and I, yeah, And so I suppose, in a sense, it's if that's for, you know, it, as an example, if you're living on your own, for example, right, and you feel like it's empty, it's looking at ways that you can fulfill your life for yourself. And, and maybe just not seeing it as, oh, well, I need this person to come into my life. Maybe looking at allowing the new possibilities to come in, yeah? Okay, so two cards for desolate for Aquarius, please. Two cards for desolate for Aquarius. Got the world here. Got the world, yep. Definitely, look, you know, this is, this is an ending of a cycle, but in a really positive way, yeah? Um, and... Yeah, things are turning around for you, I feel. Um, it's kind of like you've got the world in your hands. Yeah, and you can do whatever it is you want to do with it. And not only that, but it's important for you, rather than people telling you, you should do this and you should do that and you should do everything else, go within, feel it out. What do you need to do? What is it you need to do? Because at the beginning of this, this cycle, with the ending of one cycle, always brings at the beginning of a new cycle. Um, you will... And, you know, sorry, let me start as a new sentence here. <laughs> um, it's important for you to allow your intuition to lead you through this new cycle. Okay. And we've got judgment here. Yeah, definitely a new beginning here. Big changes coming in for you. Big positive changes. And, um, you know, this is really about this inner calling and this rebirth in your life. This is pretty huge here. So I just wonder if you have some, if this is about your family maybe, especially with all these princes and the princess so this could be impacting a family hmm anyway okay so next card weave weave yes see this is creating a home for yourself right this is creating a home for yourself or a, or at least a foundation anyway Okay, so 
two cards for we for Aquarius, please. This is really actually a really interesting reading because, wow, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, things are really turning around for you and um, in such a positive way because we also have the Ten of Pentacles here. And so I feel like it just reminds me of, I don't know, well, oh, I think it was called the Wheel of Fortune, that game on TV a number of years ago. <laughs> um, you spin the wheel and you win money. And that's what it's like. It's like you spin the wheel and here's your, here's your Ten of Pentacles, right? But this is about what you're building because it, the Ten of Pentacles doesn't come quickly. But we've suddenly got, we've suddenly got three major arcana cards here. So, yeah, this is about you building up a future, maybe for your children. Um, yeah, and it's really important for you to allow, with this making your move, it's important for you to allow your intuition to lead the way. Okay, so the next card here, look at this. Look at this. Right, this is about... a. a I mean, it could be about a relationship, but I feel like this is about you loving the masculine and feminine sides of yourself. Sorry, I just had to sneeze then. It came on quickly. Um, yes, loving both sides of yourself, right? And this says, love always supports you and aligns you with your true purpose. Yes, it does indeed. So always, you know, when we're talking about the intuition, you know, going forth, not just from your intuition, but in a state of love. And when you're, when you're feeling that intuition, that's generally um, the heart space that, in order to tap into it, that's the heart space that you want to be in, is the feeling of love. Okay, so, okay. And, and also, I want to say, so through this breathing... That may help calm everything for you um, so that you can um, tap into this energy of love. And that's going to make your intuition a lot clearer. Okay, right, good. Two cards for this card for Aquarius, please. Love always supports you and aligns you with your true purpose. Nice. Okay, so this card here was first. What's this one? Reverie. Re 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 yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> you know, this, this I feel like is this real magical. This card always gives me this magical sensation of like, you know, reaching for the stars, right? Um, and going as high as you can possibly go, okay? This is this alignment again. The stars are aligning, right? It's time. So this is pretty cool. I love this. Let's have a look. Two cards for Reverie for Aquarius, please. Here we go. Oh, that's three cards and that's okay. We'll take those. Okay. We've got the Six of Wands here. We've got the Ace of Wands here. Look at this. New beginning. Totally. Oh, and the sun. <gasps> Wow, Aquarius, this is amazing. This is like, come on, this is such a celebration of, you can't ask for anything, like, this is going to be amazing. This is incredible. Oh, I love this. I absolutely love this for you. A new beginning, a passionate new beginning, right? And um, bringing you all the happiness in the world, you know, so celebrate that. Celebrate it. Okay, because this is what you deserve. Okay, next card here. I want to say, before I start with this next card, because it's just coming to me now, that sometimes it can feel like when things change, that it's not such a good thing, because it may not necessarily be what you want in the moment, but what it's leading to is so much better. Okay, so we've got the fruit of knowledge here. Fruit of knowledge. And where is this fruit of knowledge? It's within you, your intuition, your wisdom. 
right? Because you are very wise. This card here tells me you are very, very wise. And it's taken a really long time for you to build our, or not build your wisdom because I feel like it's always been there, but to accept it and allow it to come through. And um, maybe that needs to be done a little bit more, but man, oh man, this is pretty cool. Um, two cards for Aquarius for Fruit of Knowledge here, please. Fruit of Knowledge, two cards for Aquarius. Okay, yep, cool. Moving away from those things, going to, you know, look for, for greener pastures, I suppose. And um, and headed towards, you know, that, that dream life that you dream of. And we've got the chariot here. So, yeah, this is time to make your move. Time to go after what it is that you want. Time to go after what it is that you deserve. Because there is absolutely... No reason in the world why you wouldn't deserve the best of the best. Okay, Aquarius, because you are the best of the best. Full stop, exclamation mark, love heart. <laughs> um, so, you know, I, I really do think that um, this is going to serve everybody in your life. All right, whatever it is that you are aiming for um, and you know, that you have your sight set on. Honestly, do it with grace. And I feel like because it's part of your soul's purpose, it's going to it's it's going to work and it's going to happen. Okay, so yeah. This is great. This is really, really great. It was an intriguing reading actually, Aquarius. Um so yeah, I'm Thanks for that journey, and thank you also for sharing your energy with me. I really appreciate that. Um, so, yeah, take care of your beautiful selves, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye.